So I had an opportunity a couple years ago to write a book and I really didn't feel like it was the right time. Um, I was still dating and I felt like that would be a really boring end to a book like yeah she you know went on TV and got engaged a couple times and now she's still making the same mistakes that she was making you know just a couple years ago and um, I, I just didn't think it was the right time and then whenever this door opened I really prayed about it and to be honest I wasn't super excited about you know sharing a lot of my dirty laundry all over again um, especially in writing uh, but I, I really felt like God was pushing me to go out of my comfort zone and that maybe he um, this was what he was going to see through the whole bachelorette experience. I know that he can see good through anything and I felt like he was he gave me that platform to help grow his kingdom. While I was writing the book um, and reading it, I read it, reread it like 18 times, the one thing that really stood out to me uh, that it's hard to see while you're going through everything was just God's grace throughout my whole life and times that I thought maybe he had forgotten about me or questioned like, is he even there? Um, I can really look back and see how his hand is over everything in my life, the ups, the downs, everything, and how um, he's going to continue to be there. And I think that that was really special to, to be able to look back on your life and see it in writing. I, hope, I really hope that after people read my book that they can see that no matter what you've been through or what you're going through, that there's always going to be hope for tomorrow. And even whenever you feel don't feel like getting out of bed and you feel like the world is against you, that the maker of the world is totally for you. And I think that that is um, just the most special thing in the world. And when you're going through it, it's really hard to remember. But um, I just hope that maybe somebody who's going through it can read my story and just see God's um, redemption through everything. We came up with the name I Said Yes because, um, to be honest, I said yes um, to proposals on national television and obviously those weren't um, the plan for my life and that's okay but um, I think that the, the most important yes I've ever said in my life is a yes to a relationship with Jesus and that was the most life-changing awesome experience of my life and um, I think that the telltale sign of that is that I really want to tell everybody about it because it's been such a change in my life that I just want to tell everybody.